Okay, so this next topic is the birth of our Messiah, and this one's actually kind of important now because th this is actually coming up here, and uh, <laughs> the real date of his birth is coming up, and I'm going to have a couple pictures here just showing you how you can figure this out, but basically, you know, the Bible does give us a, an approximate timing of when Jesus was born, and it was not December 25th. December 25th is the day of like the pagan sun gods. It, it's the pagan sun god's birthday. And uh, I think it's like called Sol Invictus or something. But, uh, and there's a whole bunch of traditions that you can just kind of see have nothing to do with the birth of Christ. And when you notice things like that, and even like, uh, like, for example, Christmas, Christmas trees, what do Christmas trees have to do with the birth of Christ? What do, you know, different things like this. And also, uh, I might as well mention Easter real quick. Like, what do bunnies and Easter eggs have to do with the resurrection of Christ? So, when you notice things like this, you can kind of see on the fringes of these things that look like they're very well camouflaged. They're like an angel of light. But on the fringes, you can kind of see these things that just don't fit. And they're like, well, what are these things? And where do they come from? And you really need to look into what they are. And I'm sure if you just start doing a little Google search, you can figure that out. But we're going to talk about, just real briefly, when Jesus was actually born according to the Word of God. Which, we might not know the exact day, but we do know the approximate time period. And it, it, it's enough to say that it was nowhere near December 25th. So the way you figure that out is um, a normal pregnancy is about 280 days. So that's it's about 40 weeks. My wife just had our first child, and so we're we're pretty pretty acquainted with uh, that time frame. But you've you've probably heard that one before. So the here you've got to the Bible does give us a few clues when Jesus was born. So I'm going to kind of walk through these notes. But I guess Luke chapter one verse five describes that John the Baptist's father, named Zacharias, uh, was doing his priestly duties, in, and he had the course of Beeb. It says he had the course of Beeb. So if you if you look at what that is, that can kind of that's a timestamp right there. That's approximately uh, approximately July. Uh, and I I have a picture I'll quickly flash to to show you guys that calendar, but. So then, it, um, so then you can read Luke one chapter or chapter one verse eight, and that kind of explains how the angel came and told Zacharias uh, that he was going to have a son. And then if we look in Luke one twenty six, the angel came to um, Mary in the sixth month, and it says it twice in verse twenty six and uh, thirty six. It said. Uh, and in the sixth month. Oh, that's interesting. Well, anyway, so it says, he's, in verse 36, he says to Mary that Elizabeth was already pregnant for six months. And so that kind of gives us another piece of the puzzle. And, I mean, basically, you're able to figure out, if you just look at these notes, that Jesus was approximately born sometime in what we modernly know as either September or October, approximately. And just look at these numbers that I have here in this picture, and you can see that. Uh, and, no, I, 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 I may have the spelling of a couple of these things, in, like Sukkot or Sukkot, I, 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 uh, I might have to fix that. But the thing is, he may have been born somewhere around Tabernacles or... Uh, Actually, uh, yeah, so, but somewhere in this neck of the woods, certainly not December 25th, um, and I would just recommend that you look into uh, things like um, Christmas and Easter and uh, just uh, just do a little research and say, uh, say paganism mixed with, uh, with Christmas or paganism mixed with Easter and just do a due diligent search on that. And, I mean, you, you, you just realize that the Bible says... You know, when the people were coming into the land to possess the land, God told them, destroy the altars, destroy the temples, destroy the groves. Don't you dare worship me with any of these things associated with paganism. Don't mix these things. That is an abomination to me that you mix these 
worship of pagan gods with the worship of, of me. And so you just got to kind of look to see what's going on. And that'll be the end of this video.